Okay, folks, listen, I know you read that title. Some of us don't even know nothing about it. Listen, it's pronounced Hooli Hooli Chicken. And guess what, folks? We finna do it over here. Hey, come here, pay attention. Look, I'm gonna be doing it on my Weber kettle. All right, I'm gonna get it all cleaned up. We gonna put our charcoals over here on this side. We gonna grill them, get that flavor, make them a little bit charred on the end to give it that flavor. And guess what? We finna eat some pineapples. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so listen, I'm gonna go ahead and just pan over these ingredients you guys can see. Now, don't forget the full ingredient list and it's printable is on my website, smoking and grilling with ab.com and that's w-i-t-a-b.com. Now, these are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, right? So. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim these like this, just to show you. What I do is I cut off a little bit of this fat. I got it all trimmed, about as best as I'm gonna do. I just don't wanna see, I wanna take this little small piece off of here, right? So we take this, put this in the trash. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back in this bowl. Now, I hadn't said this already, but I've already washed and cleaned and, you know, did everything to the chicken prior to going ahead and cutting it. You guys just didn't see it on film, but that is already done. Now I'll just add these back in here. This is real simple. You just want to get yourself a Pyrex, right? Now we want to get ourselves like a half a cup, right? So let's see here. That should about do it. I'm gonna add everything inside of my bag, right? No need to do all of the dishes. If you guys don't have one of these zip quickers, you know what I mean, uh, to help you out, you can always just use a bowl, mix everything in there, and then put it in a container, you know, go from there, right? So we got our ketchup now. We're gonna do a half a cup of the pineapple juice. And then you can give it a stir. And the reason I'm doing it all right here, listen, all of this is gonna be married together anyway. So why not use this to just get any residue, you know, from the ketchup, right? So we add that. And now for the soy. Notice that's less sodium, right? I love it this way. We wanna control how much, you know, salt intake or sodium that we take you know, in the, into our bodies, right? So let's get this going. All right, now I'm getting ready to put a half a cup of, you know, brown sugar inside of it, right? Now we're getting ready to add a little ginger. Nothing like having that fresh ginger, right? Grating it down. Look at it, it builds up right there, but look, just run your finger across the back and we get that in there. Now, let me explain this part. I always like to use, the majority of the time when I'm cooking, I like to use, you know, minced garlic, right? But because we're gonna put this on the grill, right? You know, when it's minced and it's on the on the actual chicken, you know, it burns and makes them little dark spots. You know what I mean? So we're not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and what we're gonna do is we just gonna smash it, right? Just to get it to open up, to release its flavors. So we're gonna put about a half a teaspoon each. I know I'm doing it over this right here. Not a half a teaspoon, but a full teaspoon, I'm sorry. Now, when you guys see me putting it in there sometime, I know correct measurements, half, run it across the top. You know, like we doing a full teaspoon, fill it up, do that, right? But for this, listen, I season my food, so if I do heaping, it's okay, right? I'm gonna have to refill these. But now, this is how you cook and you have like bold, you know, good flavors. And now we get ready to add a little bit of this apple cider vinegar, right? Just two tablespoons you need, right? Luckily, we can't do heaping. All right, so now that we got all our ingredients in here, I'm gonna put a couple of slices of the uh, pineapples in here too, but I'm using my whisk. And listen, like I said, if you want to, you can make, do all this in a bowl, you know what I mean? But for me, I'm gonna do it like this, right? <clears throat> so it's, it's like less, you know, dishes that have to be washed. All right, so once we got everything whisked and marinated, you know, look, this is a nice little blend. I don't know, let me put it down here so you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can see that in there, like, right? That's it. Now, we got the pineapple slices, we gonna use these two. But first thing we gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and reserve about a half a cup of my liquid, cause that's gonna come in later, right? Whatever you guys wanna use, you know, to go ahead and get yourself a half a cup, you can use. I can actually take this off of here, right? And if I took it off, what I'm doing is getting rid of, uh, making sure that I keep my, my garden closed, right? So we'll just fill this up. Like I say, we just wanna have about a half a cup. All right, so now, if you guys are wondering why I did that, that's because of, I'm getting ready to put the chicken in here. This would probably be the most kosher way to do it, you know what I mean? So we'll reserve this, cause we are gonna use that afterwards, right? So I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator in just a minute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take you know, my chicken and just start adding that to it, right? 
Then when it's done, we're gonna add a couple of slices to it also. That's gonna prevent it from burning on the grill, but give it them nice marks. You know what I mean? You guys got it. Take it down a little bit, let some of the air out. Take it like this, and now we massage. I don't know about you guys, listen, if you've been following me for a minute, listen, I like to stay clean. My board right now is killing me. You see that right there? I don't know how people work like that. I'm gonna just keep it real. I like to clean as I go, and I'm not practicing what I preach, but we finna get it together in just one second. Now, after you massage them, you know what I mean? You could look at your chicken and see that everything is coated, right? So, look at that right there. Now, I just set it like this. I open it up. If you guys wanna know what that timer's for right there, that's because I'm still, you know, doing my cast iron. You know what I mean? Just putting another coat on it. I'm gonna be making a video on that soon also. So now I'm gonna take my slices and start adding these to it, right? Because we want these to soak up the flavor too. And then, like I said earlier, we're gonna grill them. Pineapples in, marinating, the chicken is going. What I'm gonna do is put this in the refrigerator. Look, it's in the morning. Now this evening, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the grill. So let's put these in there and we gonna, uh, let's see. It's probably gonna go for about six or seven hours anyway. Okay, folks, so listen, I've let this marinate and I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen, I went ahead and decided I wasn't gonna do it in four hours. It's the next day. And if, I don't know if you guys are picking that up right now. You gotta love the spring, right? Yeah, all the birds, they out here. Listen, I'm outside and we finna make this hooli hooli, right? So I'm gonna open this up. And if you guys wanna come here and take a look right now, look, I got it vented just so that I can have 350 degrees, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on, right? So I'm gonna take it, open this up. Now remember we had them pineapple slices, don't trip. Cause this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm gonna take these pineapple slices out cause we gonna grill these also. This got a lot of flavor too. And it makes for the nice presentation. Not to mention that if you like pineapples, you're gonna wanna have them grilled, you know? So I'm gonna move these over here. And now we're getting ready to put the chicken on, right? So because I got a spin grate on mine, I'm able to move mine around, right? So I'm gonna put them on just like this. Look at these nice, nice pieces. Right, see a little skin right there? I know you guys be saying, AB, hey, why'd you take that skin off? You know, so we tuck that in like that. I see another pineapple in there. All right, so what I wanna do is, before I start putting the little char on there, right? I got everything away. This is my indirect zone, right? That's my direct zone. I don't wanna put no fire, no chicken on top of that as of yet. Right now, we wanna just cook the chicken, right? So. I'm gonna start this way, All right? Just get this back a little further, All right? I'm gonna close this lid so we can get our heat back, All right? And once we got our heat back, then we finna just check this in probably in about 20, 25 minutes and then we do a flip. Open this up, right? You can see it. And again, you can see my coals over here on this side, right? Now I told you I had a spin grate on here. So what I'm gonna do is move this over here. Now we'll start getting some of the marks on here, All right? So we'll let it go. I just wanted to get some heat, get it to start cooking internally. And the only way we gonna know when these are gonna be ready, listen, you have to have a meat thermometer. I know you guys wanna know the time, but there's so many variables into that. It's almost not even worth telling nobody that. I can give you a bottom, a roundabout time, and you know, we go from there. But this right here is what we're gonna do. Put it on this way, get the little marks on the bottom. You can see it's starting to crisp up, right? See that right there? That's what you wanna have. Oop, that little piece. I'm finna get that piece and eat it myself. So all you wanna do is put it on the direct side. Now, check this out. Now we just bring these over here like this. This is how you make some great tasting chicken. Right, when it comes to that grill, you tell me. Now remember, we are gonna wanna have 165, right? I'm probably not even gonna close this anymore. That was that little piece that fell off. We finna eat that, folks. I'm gonna put this over here like this. All right, so then once I get them moved over there to the side, you remember we set aside some sauce, about that half a cup. Look, we just wanna protect them, right? Cause we finna put this back over there and let them bottom ones get a little char on it, right? And to finish cooking. Now I just temp these and these were all about 130, right? That one won't go as long. Then we'll turn these around here like that and we'll let these work. I'm gonna move this one out here a little further. 
these two are a little bit on the thinner side they're not going to be on as long but this one here and this one get those marks on the back side then we're going to go ahead and grill those pineapples all right so we put these on they don't take long folks you know what i mean so just get them on here you want to keep checking them and then take them right off All right, folks, so look, now you know, and really, it came all down. I was going to go back and get my, th uh, my th meat thermometer right, but listen, we got to check it. And when you check your meat, you want to check it in the thickest part of the meat, right? Should I pause? Pause anyway, just because it's questionable. You know what I mean? I like to put it in, put the probe in there just to check it. Look, we like to get it off about 160. You know what I mean? 165 would be great. I mean, at the end, that's like the cusp. But don't forget, these are chicken thighs. Real easy. You know what I mean? A little bit more forgiving than anything else. As you can see, look, I barely grabbed that. You can see it's cooked all the way through. Look, it just, oh my goodness. Hey, I don't want to over talk it. Check it out. Cheers. Hmm. Okay, folks, look, I'm not going to keep everybody. Listen, we're going to wrap this up and we're going to say it like this. This right here is pronounced hooli hooli, you know, chicken, right? You got to go ahead and grill yourself some pineapple slices. These right here are incredible. If you like pineapples, you're going to love it with a little bit of char and smoke on it, right? So listen, I'm not going to over talk none of this. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what would you serve this with? Because I know some of y'all saying right now you got some white rice with this juice right here with that sauce. And then we cut them down, right? But for me, I think I'm going to do fried rice. And with that being said, you know what to do. If you're new, like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I got something in the inside waiting on me, and I'm about to eat. I'm out. Peace. Peace.